Okay, so recently I've been working on a little side project that was really unexpected. Holy crap! This is definitely not my typical area of project, but you probably see something behind me, something special. This is a 240SX. Uh, a little rough, but... I just got it back from my buddy's house. He was working on it for me. Let's get it off the trailer and take it for its first drive. And then I'll kind of tell you guys the story behind it and what the plans are with it. We got Barrett helping out. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Yep. All right, so while we get it unloaded, let's get into the story behind this. So, I, oh gosh. I just moved into this neighborhood about six months ago. And one day I was on a walk in the neighborhood and I saw this car parked in someone's driveway, flat tire, looked like it had been sitting for a long time. So I had, I was like, sweet, an S13. I should probably go try and buy that. Just because it's an S13, why don't you buy it? So I knocked on the guy's door like a bunch of times. I left a note, no response. It took me like months of trying to finally get a hold of the dude. And um, he told me about the car. He said he'd been thinking about selling it, and I was like, okay, if he's thinking about selling it and it's been sitting for a long time, he's definitely gonna sell it. And the surprising thing is when I like actually got talking to him about it, I noticed, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's an intercooler. So I was like, oh, what? This must be like a KAT or something. Well, let's see. Let me show you guys what we found. This car has an SR20, which was a big surprise. So then I was like, dude, I have to buy this car. The thing is, it's been, it hadn't been sitting. It had been sitting for a long time maybe like three, four years since it had even been started and like been sitting for longer than that. So he said it would probably runs, like there's nothing wrong with it. We're gonna get Barrett in the car with us. Oh, you're all wet, dude. You okay? Come with me, let's go. He said it had been sitting, but it should run because, come with me, let's go. Nothing was wrong with it when he parked it. He just got busy with other stuff and then it just kind of got put to the side. So I was like, sweet. And the thing is, he didn't really want to sell it. Barrett, do you want to sit in the car? Let's put you in the car. <laughs> okay, maybe he might not like this, but. It's okay, I'll get in with you, buddy. Oh gosh. Hey, stay there. I swear I'm a good dad. Oh gosh. Oh no. That was bad. Bear, you don't want to drive? Okay, he doesn't want to drive. Come on. Let's go, let's go. I'm sorry, buddy. Bear's not coming for the ride. Let's go play with more with your water. I just don't want him to be in the driveway when I back it up. Okay. You want your shirt off because it's wet? Your Christmas shirt? Okay, let's turn the water back on for him. Oh, crap. Do you want it out? Okay. 
where was I? He'd been sitting, he says it should run, but it doesn't. He said there's vacuum leaks, it needs timing adjusted. The thing is, he was considering selling it, but he wanted to fix it up. And I think he also wanted to see how much he could get for it. I don't think he really knows how crazy the S13 market is right now, which is the sole reason I bought this car. So let's get it off the trailer. See if we can lock Barrett in here. I don't think this will go well. Okay, let's see if he doesn't notice. All right, he can't get out now. Let's back this thing up. So I have driven this once onto the trailer. I'll, after we get it down, I'll tell you how I got it to run and everything. All right, here we go. Oh crap, the battery's not connected. Gotta go do that. Here we go. Okay. I think Bear's still chilling. Let's get it off the trailer. Okay. Hear the fuel pump. This thing is crazy. Very loud. Reverse. Nice and easy. Oh, exhaust. There we go. Idling very high right now. You see this car? There, it's the first time seeing it ever run. Let's open it up for you. Yeah. Okay, it's hot and I'm sweating, but so this dude didn't want to sell it. He wanted to fix it up, and I was like, no, dude, let me buy it. So I was just like, I just gave him an offer. I was like, dude, I'll give you this much money cash. I'll come with a trailer today. 
I will get it out of your hands. It had been sitting for so long, I figured he'd take it and he said he'd think about it. So I went home a couple hours later, I like kind of reminded him of the deal and he took it. So that day, oh, thanks buddy. That's his bandaid he just took off. So we took it home and yeah, I got it to my place, just trailered it home real quick. And I think that's maybe like the next day I actually got it to fire. All it needed to run was I siphoned the old gas out, put new gas in it, and then he gave me a new battery. So I plugged the new battery in and it started up first crank. Um, but it didn't run good. Had a lot of vacuum leaks. It, it wouldn't, um, throttle wouldn't work. Like if I gave it any gas, it would just kill it. And I didn't, I, I don't know how to work on cars. I don't, especially like old cars, like an SR20. And I bought this like three days before we had a new baby. So I don't, I didn't have time to work on it. I don't have time to work on it. So I gave it to my friend, Mike, trailer to his place, gave him some cash and he got up and running. I just got it back today. That was, that came from his house off the trailer. So now I'm just gonna post it for sale. That's the plan. I'm not trying to drive this car. I'm not trying to drift this car. I've got a really good working drift car right here which yeah, is very reliable, works really well. So I, I really just saw this as an investment opportunity, buy it, put some money into it and sell it. So I'm not, dude, he's throwing rocks at me. Hey, I'm not really gonna do anything else to it. Like I'm just gonna sell it as is, it runs. The idle is really high, but I don't know. My friend Mike tried to do everything he could. He, can, he thinks it's a thr throttle position sensor, which it very well could be. Maybe I should buy one of like 75 bucks from AutoZone. But anyway, that's the plan. Let's move, put this trailer in its spot right here and then let's take it for a test drive. Okay, taking it for the first test drive. Wish me luck, babe. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Does this GoPro angle work? Ooh, not really. We will do that. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna wear a seatbelt. I don't wanna put these harnesses on. I'm scared. Okay. Holy cow, this thing rattles. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. See ya! Oh gosh. My neighbor. Oh god, car's coming. Give it a little rip here in a second. 
second. Unless we get onto a bigger street. I'm pretty sure that's the exhaust that I hear rattling back there. I can see the ground through the trans tunnel right here. That's a little sketchy. Dude, this thing works though. Holy cow. I've been considering just welding the diff, putting it on coilovers and like a knuckle kit, and then just like drifting it. But I don't know how to work on cars, so that is probably a bad idea. Oh! Holy crap. That's really <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> it's like so fast. Really? It's like way faster than I expected. Oh, man. oh my gosh. What's up, dude? No, like. <laughs> dude, that was so crazy. Oh my gosh. The thing is, like, so I've never driven a turbo car before. And I'll explain to my wife, Frank, how it works. Like, it has to build boost to like become fast. So like, you get in, you get into it in like second, and it's like slow. But then as boost builds, it's like, it's like it like kicks in hard. And like, yeah, I am so surprised. It feels like it's like at least like 300 horsepower. It feels faster than my Z, at least. Like it feels like it was actually kind of scary. Goodness. Well, I don't even know what to do now. I'll just sell it and say it's fast. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna now just get ready to sell it. I'm gonna maybe clean it up a little bit. It had some squirrels living in it, so definitely could use a vacuum and stuff. So, oh yeah, look, some acorns, no big deal. But yeah, we're gonna get ready to sell and then Take you through that process and see how much we can get for it. See if we make some profit. 